What is up guys? I'm officially back in CT with Steffi. So we got back yesterday about two o'clock in the afternoon and I slept literally from when we got back to eight o'clock this morning. That was a long trip. We drove it in less than 18 hours, which is really impressive. Um, just drove straight back home from Sunday night and we got here Monday morning. So we did pretty good. Probably gonna be a little out of whack for the next few days, just trying to recover. I didn't get much sleep the whole trick and just been running around. But today I have some pretty big news, which I'm super excited about. So a lot of you guys might know that I've been trying to make a lot of moves lately to get the ball really rolling for the winter, just because in Connecticut, when winter comes, stuff comes to halt and stuff gets slow and gets stressful. So to, co to continue the moves being made, I happen to pick myself up a new garage bay. Next door. So this opportunity was presented while I was away in Florida and it's the perfect time and opportunity for this. Now the guy that was in here before happened to move out or he moved to a smaller unit so this was available. So I decided to grab it while it was available because I know we're gonna want this very soon. It's kind of a really big stretch for me to get this right now in terms of budgets for everything but I figured in terms of the channel this is just an investment and it's perfect, perfect timing since now that I have the FD project, the Z project, and I still am gonna be working on my coupe, I need the space. So this is essentially the exact same size as the bay next door, but I'll have this whole thing to myself, which is insane. This is huge. Now in a few months, I'll be able to afford a lift and put a lift in here, and I'll be the greatest addition ever. I'm still gonna have the guys next door, which is sick. I'm gonna have them basically handle their own stuff there, our buddy Dylan is going to move in, and he's, he has a sick Cressida, so there'll be a lot of Cressida content too. And he'll be moving into that bay, basically taking my spot to cover that rent. So, so I'm going to have them have their own bay and enjoy it. Of course, they're going to be over here all the time helping out, so you're not going to miss out on any DrewTube. It's just now I'm going to have all my stuff in one freaking spot, which is so sick. All right, so today is basically going to be all about moving into this bay and getting it all set. So the first thing I do is sweep the damn place because it is filthy. I don't have a wind muff on, so I apologize in advance. The noise is probably going to be really bad from the wind, but... Hey, RJ. Yeah. Hi, Jamie. What do you think of the Z? I'm slightly disappointed in you. I would have clicked the little red car. I know, the <laughs> I know he wanted the cappuccino. I'm so mad that was a cool car. I mean, you know Z's like the back of your hand. But See, I'm a little bit taller than RJ. A and little he, bit. And even RJ would have had his knees on the dashboard in that thing, though. I don't know, man. I have a Miata now, so it's pretty cool. Look at that. I'm a mailman now. Yeah, it's your mailman. And it's your worst nightmare, 2 plus 2. Are these power seats? Yeah, they're power seats. Oh, amazing. Oh! It honestly doesn't feel that weird. So the 240 has been stuck in the trailer for the past like week and a half since the last year's event because we've had no room for it. But now that we have the new bay, she can come back inside. It's been in the trailer this whole time. So I switched vehicles with RJ for an hour. He took the Z. So I'm going to use the truck to pull it out, take the 240 out, and do all that stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Not bad. We're good. She's filthy, covered in degreaser, but I should wash it before I put it away. I think that's the only fair thing to do. Hello everyone, my name is Travis and I'm building a Nissan 240SX. Follow me on Instagram at NoChillTrav to see pictures and keep up to date with everything. Alright, so I just had to run down to the electric company get the electric turned on, so hopefully that goes on tonight so we could, you know, start moving some more stuff in. Alright, the electric guy just left and the power just went on. Well, it's going on. I kind of begged them to turn it on today, they were supposed to come tomorrow, but I guess begging worked. <laughs> so a cool feature about this, this bay that that garage doesn't have is 
outlets down the whole entire wall, which is sick. I think this place used to be like a machine shop or something. The other shop literally has one set of outlets and it's right next to the breaker box. So this is a huge upgrade. All right, so we're gonna take a break from Moon for a minute, but Eddie just got his FC back. Do you wanna explain where your FC has been and what it's been doing? Um, well, it's been getting the cage done. Um, that was about two months ago. Probably a little bit longer than that. Um, we got some problems, but uh, it's back together. Uh, I also had to take a break for a while because I was sick, surgery, but I'm good now, car's back, and uh, hopefully get the inside painted and go from there, hopefully get the motor in. So. There you go. So Eddie is back. He got his car back. He's in good health now and uh, he's gonna go full force back into the build which I'm super excited about. The car is coming out sick and I can't wait to see the cage. Dude this thing looks so good. Dude your car looks so good. Well the 1J is basically done and it looks really good. Fully refreshed non-VVTI. Got his trans right here. So he has to paint this thing and he could marry it and drop it in. All right, Eddie, the pieces are here. Now the work needs to be done. That's the hard part. It is, it's, it's the motivation, it is, it's hard. Hard, it's cold. It's cold. All right, so for you guys watching right now, I'm gonna put Eddie's Instagram right here on the screen. Go on his Instagram and give him some motivation to finish this car, because I want to see it done. It's like Drew got to the shop. Let's see some shit. What's up? <gasps> What's up, Tuck? I've missed you, homie. I hope you guys miss Tuck too. What's up, buddy? Gonna get y'all dirty. There is so much stuff I had to move in here, which I'm kind of being lazy today. I'm still burnt out from the trip, whatever. I want to get a few things done today. But while I was gone, something pretty cool came in the mail and I want to show you guys. So, as you know, the FD is in desperate need for an interior. And this should do the trick. So a lot of you guys know that I got the FD actually off eBay and then I was kind of under false pretense with the car about it having frame damage. And a lot of guy a lot of a lot of you are suggesting that I kind of file it through eBay and stuff like that to get money back. So the door cars kind of pertain to the situation, so I want to explain it. So the way I bought the car off eBay, which is a lot of how a lot of people buy cars on eBay, is you basically pay the deposit through eBay and you pay the rest off of eBay. It's what a lot of uh, it's what a lot of people do just to kind of avoid PayPal fees. And so I essentially only paid my deposit through eBay and through PayPal since it's connected. And um, so, it's, so I can only really get my deposit back, which was only about $500. So I talked to the guy that I actually got the FD from and I told him I was gonna put the claim through because you know, he did screw me. And uh, he told me he'd work with me and send me a few parts instead because he parts out FDs instead of going for money. And so I asked, for a new fender and complete door cards to make up for it. Since a fender, you know, is about $200 and surprisingly, complete black door cards are about $850, which is insane. It's probably one of the most expensive pieces in the whole interior. And so he sent me these door cards that literally just came in and they're missing the handles and uh, plastics on them, which alone are gonna cost me about $150, which is ridiculous. I know they're worth so much money, probably even more, maybe even like 250. So, I, I contacted him uh, asking where the other parts might come in and he hasn't responded to me, he still hasn't responded to me. So I think, so I think he's basically telling me to screw myself. So I'm gonna put the PayPal claim in, get his $500 and keep the door cards and be happy. Um, just because these alone are worth so much money that it makes me feel a little bit better about myself. It's also sick is one of the workers at Njuku actually had an FD outside of Njuku. I think I put it in the video. I completely forgot his name and I feel horrible. If you're watching this video, 
please comment below. I just want to thank you so much because he hooked me up with a dome light for the FD. He actually let me take it off because he said he wasn't going to need it. And this whole assembly alone is so hard to find with the bracket and the harness and he hooked it up. So thank you so much. I wish I feel so bad I forgot your name, but this is a huge hookup. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Injuku Worker. Here's the dilemma. Where do I put my toolbox? So I want to put everything on this wall just because all the outlets are there. But I don't know if I want to like kind of do where Drew has it in the middle because I sometimes end up using Drew's box a lot just because it's like conveniently right there. I like having my little work area in the back because it's all like sectioned off. But I kind of want to make this like a hangout area just because like we have the space now. So it would be pretty cool, you know, put a TV there and a couch. But who knows? I think I'm just going to throw it against the back wall right now. But I want to hear you guys' suggestions. How should we set this up? Workbench, tools, everything right here in the middle? Or should we kitty corner it in the back like before? Let me know. Since I'm too lazy to clean my bench off right now, we came up with this genius idea. We gotta turn it. Yeah. I'm riding it. Let's see a kick flip. Get the whole bench. It's getting a little late, but I do want to get my Z down here, my red one that is. So Steph actually just came to pick me up, so I'm gonna drive me back home where my Z has been hibernating. Drive it down here. Hopefully there's no issues with it, and uh, the Z should be parked up. I'm excited to have it back down here because it hasn't been down here in a long time. All right, we are back home. Yeah, of course the battery is dead. Luckily we got the cables for this. Thanks, mom. <laughs> All right, we're good. It only took like 20 minutes, but. Literally though, driving the other Z has maybe like fall in love with this car again. Like, it's the end of the season, I want to drive the piss out of this thing. <laughs> Whatever. Well here it is, they finally meet. As you can see, the size difference between a 2 plus 2 and a 2 plus 0. I don't know if you can actually tell from this angle, but... Yeah, look at that. Look how much longer the rear end looks. Look how similar the wheels look, see? I don't know, I'm tempted. I kind of want to put these on the FD, have a six set of wheels for the FD, and find some more Hot Boy wheels for this so they don't really match that much. Because I don't want them to look too similar, even though they are the same car, but whatever. All right, so I moved in a decent amount today. I'm so happy I got the Z here, got that over with. So now if it snows randomly tomorrow, we are all set. So the fair lady is not staying here. I'm gonna be you know, driving that around for a few days, enjoying it before I rip it apart. Kind of a half-ass half, half move in today. I was feeling a little lazy, still a little burned up from the trip. But we got a few of my big things in here. I, I'm, I still can't believe I have my own bay. This is ridiculous. This is so badass. Obviously the guy, obviously the guy's gonna be in all the videos still. I mean, we're, we're all hanging out today. I didn't film much with them just because I was kind of more worried about moving in than I was on filming, but whatever. To make myself feel like I was a little bit productive today, we got some parts in for the budget hatch while I was gone, so I think I'm gonna put them in. All right, so we finally got the crank pulley. Our buddy Steve actually hooked us up with this, which is awesome, so now we can blast this thing on and get all the accessory belts on. So I already oiled up the crank a little bit. This should just slip on and we could just blast it on. I, I need two hands for this. So it's starting to look a little bit more complete now. I threw the radiator hoses in real quick too. They're from eBay, like some random eBay brands. They don't fit 100%, but they fit good enough. I got really lucky with the pipe fitment because it just clears it. And uh, I realized also that the bolt broke in the tab for the old radiator bracket, which is no big deal. I'll drill it out and tap it tomorrow. And then, and then I put this crusty one on. In the meantime, got to find a new rubber grommet and put a nice bolt in there and maybe paint it. So starting to look a lot more complete. I'll throw the hose clamps on and the belts later. I'm tired. I just wanted to see this all, you know, put together. And huge shout out to my buddy Roberto down at HP Logics because he hooked us up with a Z32 MAF, a TT Z MAF, which is like the perfect MAF for the setup. And these are kind of hard to find, they're kind of expensive. So he had one laying around, probably won't focus on it, but he hooked it heavy. So Roberto, if you're watching, thank you so much, homie. I'm gonna put his Instagram right here. His Z is so badass, so check it out.
It's really cool. But I gotta mock up a little intake for this thing still. And uh, hook the belts up, put the hoses on, fill it with fluids. We can crank her over. I went to go throw the belts on. I got the alternator one on, but Jip got the wrong power steering belt. That's race car builds. You order the wrong parts quite a bit. We shall prevail. All right, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm super exhausted, whatever. Um, yeah, so moved into the new shop halfway, got all the cars in there, which is sick. I'm super excited for it. I'm excited to kind of put my own touches to it and make it pretty cool. I, I don't know. This is a huge deal for me. I hope you guys are excited too. Hopefully tomorrow I could button up the budget build. That's my goal, I guess. I don't have really anything else going on. And then, yeah, I can't think of anything else. So you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content.